Hello everybody, I'm Dark Mario Luigi and welcome back to another exciting episode for Let's Play Amnesia White Knight and we are here in this hospital area and we're going to do stuff. So yeah. We can't go up there because it's blocked. We can go that down there, but I'm not going to. Because there's no point in going there yet. So here's the men's room. So just checking all these bathrooms. Oh no! How dare they! How dare they do that to us! I hate it when something bad bad happens in the bathroom. I just seriously hate it. Ugh. All right, whatever. Let's just head over here now. Also, this is locked, so you, you might not get this, but apparently you can use a screwdriver to unlock all these doors that are locked in this area. Which is kind of weird, but whatever, it works. Also, I, I still haven't figured out why, why it shows that when it like, gives up the hints, like it shows how to do something with the mouse or a keyboard, and it also shows like the gamepad way of how to do it. I tried plugging in my gamepad to see if I would use. Oh yeah, batteries by the way. Yeah, see what, what see what I see there. I tried plugging in the bat the gamepad, but it didn't work for some reason. I have no clue why it's showing that when I can't use my gamepad. It's kind of creepy, actually. It's really creepy. So yeah. Still haven't figured it out. But yeah, let's just go through all these rooms. Check what's behind here. Nothing. Nope. Nothing at all. Alright. Come on. Nothing. Seriously? Well, this room was just pointless. We're not going to do anything with that room yet. We're just going to check inside here. Oh, what's this? Let's check here first. Anything? Nope. Let's click on the tape recording. Patient progress report. As for the latest diagnosis, the patient has started to show signs of acknowledgement for his second personality. I still couldn't understand what may have caused this disassociative identity disorder and when the cause in question occurred, if there is one. The interesting thing is, while in her normal personality, Hello there, monster! She acts like a completely normal person with a strong mind. Today I went to test what might trigger a sick, sick personality with a little experiment. I asked her if she knew Dr. S. She told me that she even knows her password. I asked what it was. And she told me the last digit of the password is half of the second digit. Then she whispered that the second digit was equal to the number of wash bases. I asked how she knew this. Can't leave yet, by the way. Sophia told her, I'm afraid this personality I was trying to examine was only questions. Is this Sophia's act? All right, cool. Last digit of the password is half of the second digit. Second digit is equal to the number of wash basins in the restroom. So we pretty much need to figure out a puzzle code to be get this door to work. I'm not gonna do that yet. Oh yeah, the light broke by the way. I'm not gonna do that yet because I already know what the code is. So I'm just gonna check over here for stuff. Can't see it for a second. Since it shows like the like the hint stuff for the gamepad, I should be able to use it, but for some reason I'm not able to. Wait, I, yay! Battery, battery or light bulb, whatever. Same thing. Honestly, I don't know if they're the same thing. So 
we got a lot of stuff. Let's use our screwdriver on this. Anything in here? Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh, batteries! I love batteries. Batteries are just so much fun. Open up. And nothing in here, of course. I thought as much. Okay, where is the light? There we go. There it is. Oh, this is a nice room. Pot! Yeah! I love breaking pots. Uh, why can't we open this? I want to see what's inside. Ugh! I hate it. I hate it so much. Hello there, Stefano. Lovely to see you today. Now, why'd you close that door? Well, why did the door close? I don't know. Let's use our screwdriver on here. Turn on the light. Of course we can't open that closet. Ooh, there's a note. I'm gonna check in here these things first. Ooh, more batteries. I love batteries. Let's read. Uh, um, you know what guys, since this is like long text. I'm just going to let you guys pause the video if you want to and read through this because yeah this is a lot of reading. I don't want to take the time, the time to read all this. So I'm sorry if you guys wanted me to read it but I just need to progress in the game. There's no harm in just pausing the video. And that's blocked so no way of going there. So yeah, let's just head back to the other side and finish this puzzle. Uh, so let's have some light here. So the code is 5623. There we go. That's how we roll. Seriously? Another cutscene like this? Nightmares again, huh, David? I'd hope you would be better today, but you are not, as it turns out. I'm never okay. What's happened to me? Why is there no one but me in this place? I would like to know that too. Asking questions? Then you remember me and your name? Good. You finally started to show progress. What progress? What are you talking about? You ask her! Mind is fragile, David. I'm afraid yours is heavily broken. But don't worry. I'm here to heal your mind. Stop saying that! We are a little aggressive today, aren't we, David? It's good to see you're ambitious. Let's start a session today, then. What happened to me? A lot happened to you, David. But let's take it slow. You should know you are a good person, David, but there are bad things you made. I haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, you tell her! So you remember. I... I, I don't. How can you be so sure then, David? I... Uh... Why do you think you're seeing dead bodies, David? How do you know I'm seeing dead bodies? So you admit it. You're stalking me! Look, David. Guilt often tends to rise to the surface in the form of your acts, no matter how deeply you bury it. But there is a bright side. Guilt also shows her developing some progress. That's why there are things attacking me? There are things attacking you? Hmm. Liar, you knew that! You knew it! You're just lying. It's all lies. Uh, so... Apparently this room doesn't have a light, so... 
We're gonna have to use our flashlight, sadly. Why can't I break this bot? I wanna be able to break it, but I can't. It's the end of the world, but I got some morphine. So I think we should be alright. We also have a key. Downstairs key. Now we have a reason to go downstairs. Yay, but I don't want to because usually downstairs are always scary in horror games. Ooh. Get, don't forget to get that battery. More battery! Yay! I'm just in battery heaven right now. Alright. Now we can leave. Let's go over here. Down the stairs we go. First we're gonna check over here. Uh oh, blood. Seriously, nothing? Whoa! Mr. Poofer! What did I tell you? Alright, let's use our key here. Let's use another, uh, battery, just in case. If we want to run out. Patient Ward's door is locked as Dr. Sophia instructed. Restoration was left half-finished, and it was nearly impossible to use Patient Ward's. So, she said patients with, with crafts should continue to work. So I took the files to examine patients and made a list. We need to somehow have them to continue the work that was left to have finished. John Barker was a carpenter, carpenter before coming here. Richard Crichton was a painter and crafter. Thomas Redwood, a young boy with experience. David. That's us! It is impossible to reverse an entry due to bad handwriting. Of course, I thought as, as much. Seriously, how much batteries are we gonna get? This is amazing. I love getting so much batteries. And key. I love getting keys too. Patient wing key. Ooh. I hit the jackpot, guys. I literally hit the jackpot. Oh, I already opened that one. There we go. Let's leave now. Alright, anything over here? Nope, it's stuck. This is pretty much just the same door that we were in. The same room, I mean. Okay, we've got another bathroom. Hopefully nothing spooky in here. Nope. Alright. Thank you for not going digging the lights out. Oh, the female room. Oh, of course. There's always something bad in the female bathroom. Always something bad. Mr. Proofer! What were you doing in there? And why is there no toilet? This is like such a waste of space. I'm serious about this. Whatever. I don't really care much anyways. All these doors are stuck. And broken. Well we have a key for this one. So let's head inside here. What's in this room? Ooh, it looks like we need to break that thing. Sorry, Chair, I'm gonna have to borrow you for a second. Yeah! And we got the fire axe. Now we can finally kill enemies with this. Sa I wish it were the case, but sadly not so. Anything in here? Anything that's interesting? Fine. Nope, nothing. Oh man. Pretty much all these runes are gonna be the same, but I'm gonna check them anyways. Just in case. It won't move, why? I wanna go in there.
Come on. Oh, don't, don't, don't close the door, please. Please don't. Oh, another bathroom. But except it's a shower room. Ooh, water. Let's do the same with this room. I don't know if we need it, really need to do this at all, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I can. We're gonna see if that changed anything at all. Oh, hang on. Yes, yeah, door's locked. I I expected much. Come on. Ah, whatever. Let's just use this fire axe on this. Alright. Come on, move, move the bed. Move the bed already. Alright, let's enter inside here. The judge was seeming unrelated to the issue, like it had nothing to do with the people's lives. All Mr. Lawrence wanted to do was throwing off the responsibility to someone else. Possibly the first time he really wanted to kill someone. Well, maybe not first time. Oh, that was correct grammar! Definitely. That was definitely the correct grammar. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just a grammar Nazi, actually. I always go crazy when I read things that aren't correct grammar. Which is not really a good thing. I shouldn't criticize people's handwriting. But I do. Oh, when is this gonna load? Come on already. second now. Come on, will you load already? <sighs> also, I did miss a note in that room, like somewhere in that area. I missed a note with a lot of text in it. But I didn't know where I was, and who cares anyways, because we're here now, yay! We're outside, it's kind of lagging. So let's use our light, because it's kind of dark. So let's just head over here. Stairs. And let's I need to break this thing. Alright. There we go. We got it, got it. No! Ah! I have to go downstairs and get it myself. Why do you always have to be so hard? There we go, we got an iron bar. So this is locked, so I guess we have to use our end bar here. Alright. Let's use a couple batteries. No harm in doing that. Alright. Um, there is no way I'm gonna check all of these. There's like literally nothing in there. So yeah, I'm just not going to do it. I ain't going to do it, man. Whoa, um, hello. Uh, uh, 
Okay, all is good. Don't even know if I needed to use that. Anything in here? Nope. Just behind the stairs. So we have to head over here. Oh no! Ah! Darn you, Mr. Poofer! Thought I told you to stay away from me. Why? Okay. That's kind of creepy. Oh. Let's close that door. Then. It won't move. Why won't it not move? More batteries, yay! Any light bulbs in here? I don't know why I've been calling the light bulbs batteries. I have no clue why. Anything? Okay, let's go in here. You need to time this jump perfectly to get onto that. Like this! Alright! I'm so good at this game. The nowhere key. The key to nowhere. It, it, literally, it literally leads to nowhere. There's just no point in doing it. Okay. It literally froze there for a second. I hate it when it does that. So, let's see if this key works on it. No. Wrong door. It's stuck. Wrong door. Oh, why the lag? Why lag? Why does it lag? Why does it lag? Ugh. There we go. Jeez, man. I really don't like why it lags so much. Close that door! Let's head down the stairs, a winding staircase of doom and destruction. Ew, that's gross! Gross eyeballs. Ugh. Grody. Also, here when there's even a little bit of lag, you start to walk slowly. I really don't like it. There's even eyeballs on the floor. <laughs> this is beginning to be really creepy. If that doesn't freak you out, I don't know what would. Eyeballs coming to attack you, maybe. That would be creepy if those eyeballs just went up and attacked you. Alright. Well, this is actually kind of cool. I like this. Oh! Ha ha! Don't. Fall. Come on, grab onto it! There we go! That's much better. Alright, let's climb all the way down here. Now I have to go basically to the other side of this wall pretty much it. See what I mean? They just make it so simple. So very simple. Alright, let's climb this ladder.
Climbing, climbing, we are climbing. Alright, now that's dark. Okay. But let's use another battery. Why not? Alright. Scary wheelchair. Oh, oh no, don't you dare. What? What? Why is this lagging so much? Okay. There's an elevator here. So let's go inside it. We'll go to floor one. We're off to floor one, everybody. Alright, so there's this uh, refrigerator here, and there's a note. I loved her so much, so much that I couldn't breathe without her. When they brought me here, they told me everything was going to be just fine. Like I would believe that nonsense. They'll never understand me. I know this for sure. Yesterday I took my ring and locked it away. I should have hidden it better. It was my only memento left from her. He said I was part of the progress. He said I want to develop some progress. I just won my ring back. My ring. Inscribed with the reflection. Today I did it. I did it for you, my love. I took the knife and searched inside him. It was not there. I think I will find it in his cabinet. He, will always, he was always locking in his cabinet. It has to be there. Alright, so I'm going to see if I can get it a couple times. Nope, that's wrong. Well, there is a way to figure out the code. I think it's by this one. Oh wait, it's this one. Oh no. Oh, it's this one, right. You have to push this. I think you have to push it more. Okay. No? What the heck then? I wish I knew the password. I thought I did. No. Come on! I'm just blind guessing right here. Uh. Come on. Why won't you let me do this? You know what, I'm gonna get something else first and save that for last. So where we're gonna go to is we're gonna go to the third floor. Third floor, alright! Yay! Alright. Now this room is kind of dark, so I really need the flashlight. As much as I don't want to use a flashlight, I have to. So we have to go through this really huge maze. 
This maze is that I honestly don't like. Wait. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay, over here. What the heck? Oh, okay. Alright, then, now there's a note over here. Let's read it. After I searched inside him, they caught me while I was looking inside his cabinet. They, f they found and took my ring too. My ring inscribed with their memories. If I don't have a ring to wear, why would I have fingers? Okay, it's kind of creepy. Well, guys, I think it's going to have to do it for this episode. We're going to end off in this dark, scary room, I know. Kind of freaky. But anyways, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and post a comment. And if you want updates on my channel, be sure to check my Twitter. It will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Let's play up. Amnesia. Light night. Have a wonderful day.